Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ananya. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about symptoms of weak heart, the symptoms that might indicate a heart problem. Before beginning this video, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel so that I can share all the valuable and useful information with you. Heart diseases or heart problems are one of the most common problems in today's world. And most of the conditions are life-threatening and require immediate medical attention. A lot of people are not aware about the symptoms that may require immediate medical attention. So in today's video, I'll be telling you about the symptoms that may indicate that your heart is weak and that may also indicate that you may need immediate medical attention. So without wasting any time, let us start. The very first symptom is chest pain. Chest pain is one of the most common signs of heart danger. If you have a blocked artery or if you're going to have a heart attack, then you may feel pain and pressure and tightness in the chest. Also, the intensity of the chest pain and the pressure may vary from person to person. For some people, this can be really sharp and for others, it can be really dull. So make sure you carefully watch out the symptoms. This chest pain or chest tightness usually remains for more than a minute. And it can happen anytime, either you're at rest or you're doing any physical activity. If it is just a brief pain or if the pain is concise in a particular area, especially when you touch it or push it, then it may not be a sign of heart danger. But nevertheless, you must always visit a doctor. And also, you must keep in mind that a lot of heart diseases and heart attacks may occur without any chest pain. Number two, nausea, heartburn, indigestion, and stomach pain. Some people are reported to experience these symptoms during a heart attack. And women are more likely to report this kind of symptoms than men. Of course, there can be a lot of reasons of having indigestion, vomiting, stomach pain, and heartburn. And you can also have upset stomach for a lot of reasons, especially when you ate something which is not good. But you must be aware that this can happen during a heart attack as well. So if you have any of these symptoms that has been troubling you, then you might be at risk of getting a heart disease. So again, make sure you visit a doctor and talk to your doctor. Number three, pain that spreads to the arm. Now, this is another classic symptom of heart attack. During a heart attack, you will feel the pain in the chest and then this pain will radiate into your left arm downwards. Number four, feeling dizzy or lightheaded. A lot of things can make you lose your balance and make you faint for a quiet while. This may not be a classic symptom of a heart disease. But if you're feeling unsteady suddenly, then you must immediately visit a doctor. Now, why I'm saying this is because you can feel the same symptoms if your blood pressure is dropped down suddenly. And the sudden drop down of the blood pressure may indicate a heart disease. Number five, throat or jaw pain. If you are just having throat pain or jaw pain, then it is not related to heart diseases. It might be a muscle issue or caused by cold or sinus pain. But if you have pain and pressure in the center of your chest, and if this pain and pressure radiates to the jaw and throat, then you must immediately call a doctor or visit a doctor. This can be a sign of heart disease or heart danger. Number six, getting exhausted easily. If you are suddenly feeling fatigued and very tired after doing an activity, which you were comfortable in doing in the past, then you must visit the doctor. Extreme exhaustion and unexplained weakness or tiredness may be a great sign of heart disease. So hereby, I advise you to watch your symptoms carefully and see if you're getting exhausted or tired for no reason. Number seven, sweating. Sweating is basically considered a good sign. But breaking out in cold sweat for no obvious reason can be a sign of heart attack and you must immediately visit a doctor or call a doctor for help. Next one, your legs, your ankles, and your feet are swollen. If your legs, your ankles, and your feet are swollen for a long time for no obvious reason, then it may also indicate a heart disease. It basically means that your heart is not pumping the blood effectively. So again, it requires medical attention. 
Also, there is another symptom that is irregular heartbeat. If you're having irregular heartbeat very frequently, then again, you must visit a doctor. Now, the symptoms that I just mentioned are the most common symptoms of a heart disease or are a sign of a weak heart. So, if any person is having a heart attack or a heart disease, then he may not necessarily have all the symptoms. These symptoms can vary from person to person. Along with the symptoms, the intensity of the symptoms may also vary. Moreover, these symptoms are not specific to heart diseases and heart attacks. There might be another underlying health condition that may lead to these symptoms. So it's always important for you to watch your symptoms carefully and visit a doctor and do a proper test. And based on your test reports and your diagnosis, your doctor might talk with you to develop a treatment plan that works best for you. And that's all for today's video. If you have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to comment down below. Till then, stay safe and stay healthy.